Good morning, Harvard Hornets. This is Maria Lateral with your Wellness Wednesday video. <sighs> Are you getting enough sleep? As we all know, sleep is an essential part of life. It plays a crucial role on your energy levels as well as your mental and physical health. The amount of sleep needed by an individual varies depending on several factors, such as age, genetics, and your quality of sleep. The following chart shows the recommended amount of hours of sleep based on age. As you can see, younger people, infants, toddlers, preschoolers need more sleep than school age, teen, and adults. Quality of sleep refers to how well you sleep. For most adults, good quality sleep means that you typically fall asleep in less than 30 minutes. You sleep soundly throughout the night with no more than one awakening and you can return to sleep within 20 minutes if you do wake up. Bad sleep quality is characterized by trouble falling asleep and staying asleep, restlessness, and early awakenings. Here are some tips for getting a good night's rest. First, make sure you prioritize. Set an alarm to go to bed and ensure that you are getting seven to nine hours of sleep each night. Set a routine. Maintain a consistent work exercise, meal, and sleep routine. It is very important for us to unplug. That means avoiding screen time close to bedtime. Another thing that we want to avoid is caffeine. Caffeine should not be consumed at least four hours before bedtime and earlier if you are more sensitive to it. It is very important that you optimize your environment. Do not use your sleep space for games, television, or work. Aim for a dark, quiet, and cool sleep space. Also, try not to use alcohol as a sleep aid. Contact your primary care provider if sleep problems persist. I have also included some helpful techniques for winding down at the end of the day. One of the techniques that you can use is deep breathing exercises. That means breathing from your belly rather than your chest. It helps activate the relaxation response and helps lower your heart rate, blood pressure, and stress levels to assist you in drifting off to sleep. Another technique is body scan. Focus your attention on different parts of your body, which can help you identify where you're holding tension and help you release it. Thank you for joining me. Hope you have a great day and sleep well.